Welcome back to the channel Clashers. Today we are diving deep into the best hero equipment combinations. I've got you covered with the best hero equipment setups to dominate the battle. Stick around by the end of this video, you'll be equipped with the knowledge to take your gameplay to the next level. So firstly we are doing the king. We've got a bunch of combinations and I will rank them and tell you their pros and cons. Starting with earthquake boots and the spiky ball. This combination is really really powerful, especially when you use this in the core. If your king wanders off and you use it on the outside, you'll still get some value but this combination is to open the path in the core or to take a lot of damage. So this will definitely be the top priority. Up next we have got vamp stash and spiky ball. When you are making the funnel with the king for ground or air strategies, this combination is really helpful. You can alternatively use the vamp stash with giant gauntlet, but with that, you will not get the range shot of the king but the advantage is that the king will stay on a straight path and if he gets inside a compartment he will definitely get it down now these three mentioned combinations have just got a single equipment that is epic and the other is common so the investment of the ore will not be as much that's the advantage now if we talk about the cone it is either specifically sending the king in or sending the king out there's nothing in between for the next combination we have got the giant gauntlet and spiky ball. This is kind of an all-in-one combination, whether you are trying to send the king in or you just want to make the funnel, this combination will work in both of those cases. That's the advantage of it, but the disadvantage is that it is going to be a little bit on the costlier side with both the equipment as epic. For the next combination we have got the classic giant gauntlet and the rage vial. For this one you don't have to worry about the ores, this is almost as powerful as the previous combination. And you can send the king in with the main troops or the outside to make the funnel. Now let's say you do not have an epic equipment, maybe because you just started the game or you missed it in the event and you do not have the gems right now to buy it. Regardless of the cause, these are the two combinations that you can look on. First the vamp stash and rage vile, this will help the king to survive a little bit more and make the funnel in the process. Alternatively the rage vile and earthquake. This one will help the king in the core and he will do some significant amount of damage. So that's it for the king. I will list them like this but depending on your priority, the attacks you use and your playstyle, you can change the list like this. It will still be very strong. Up next, let's go for the queen. We have got some good combinations for the queen as well. First and foremost, we have got this, the giant arrow and the healer puppet. Both of them are common equipment and to the surprise, this is really good. You can use this combination on the outside to make the funnel, to take out specific targets like air defense or even target invisibility towers. It is mostly for the air attacks, but setting the funnel will help you in ground strategies as well. So this will be the first priority. Moving on to the next combination, we have got Helo Puppet and Frozen Arrow. The coolest part of this strategy is that it can be used anywhere, whether it's just for funneling or in the smash attacks when you send the queen in or just for a queen charge and taking out specific compartments it is really versatile then we have got another good combination that is helo puppet and mirror clone with this combination you can make funnel again and mirror clones make a really good funnel you can also send the queen in in smash attacks but queen charging with this combination is i will not typically do or recommend let's say you queen charge and you trigger the queen ability for generating healers at the same time you will generate clones and later down the line pick up this as queen charge but i would say there are better ways to do it for the next one we have got frozen arrow and the clone mirror clone is popping up quite often these days because combination like this can be used for smash attacks send the queen in with the main troops or even if she is alone as long as she reaches the core, she can deal a lot of damage. Then we have got Invisibility Spell and Frozen Arrow. This is good for a queen charge. When you are inside of the base and you want some extra layer of protection for the queen, Invisibility Wild works well for that. And we cannot forget the freeze effect of the Frozen Arrow. Now let's look at these two no epic combinations. The Helio Puppet and Giant Arrow. This is the first combination that we talked about. The best combination there is. And the other combination is Helio Puppet and Invisibility Wild. You can use this one as well in smash attacks and it will work just fine. I might be forgetting some combinations right here. If you use something else other than these, then please comment and I'll be sure to include them when I make the hero combination video again. Let's discuss the royal champion next. Her first combination would be hawk puppet and haste vial. Yes this was nerfed, but this is still the strongest. With both the common equipment, you can use this for crown attack, this will work the best in that condition. Or 
if you are doing an air deck, you can send her to solo a compartment. She will also do a really good job in that. The Orin Bisman is low because both of them are common equipment and upgrading them will be beneficial for a long run. The next combination is Rocket Spear and Seeking Shield. It is also very strong and it can be used for crown and air attack. With this combination, you can solo a compartment and the RC will take all of it down. If you equip one earthquake spell, then you can save out on some Rocket Spears. Or you can also charge the RC to the Town Hall and she will work really well in that case as well. This is all in one combination. Up next we have got Hawk Puppet and Royal Gem. This strategy is really powerful when you are sending the RC along with a lot of troops or she is in the core and you need some extra firepower. With this, the health of the RC gets boosted and with the extra punch of the Hog Riders, she deals a lot of damage. Of course, this can be used for ground and air attacks, but this combination is not as strong as the previous two. Then we have got the classic combination, Royal Gem and Sheikin Shield. This combination will be unlocked right off the bat. From Town Hall 13, this is the first combination and upgrading the Sheikin Shield more as compared to the Royal Gem will help you to develop the second combination that we discussed earlier, Rocket Spear and Shooting Shield. But if we just talk about this combination, it is also very strong. And pretty much for a Town Hall 13 basis, it's the only combination, so you gotta work with that. Then, for the initial phase of Town Hall 14, this combination will also help. Yes, we are assuming that you do not have the Rocket Spear. But if you get your hands on Rocket Spear, then start doing the second combination. But overall, this common equipment combination of Haste Vial and Hawk Puppet will serve you the best with minimum ore investment and a lot of firepower. So you can do this one first. Now finally, the Warden is the only one that is remaining. Now Warden. Once more we have got a common combination. This is Healing Dome and Eternal Dome. This is the strongest and it will serve you in every type of strategy. You can do an air attack or ground attack. This combination will heal and protect every troop. If you're doing a dragon attack or root riders, it does not matter. This combination must be upgraded the first. With both of them being common equipment, the ore investment is not as much. Up next we have got Fireball and Rage Gem. This is also pretty cool. It can be used for making a funnel in smash attacks. Not only that, you can do warden walk and make a full funnel. The Fireball is really good for that. You can take out clan castles and the healers under the effect of Rage Gem or any other troop as a matter of fact will make this combination one of the best. Primarily I have found this combination to work the best in smash attacks. Up next we have got the eternal dome with the rage gem or the life gem. Both of them have got their own benefits. For instance the rage gem combination works the best with the troops that have a pretty decent level of HP. In other words bulkier troops. Rage gem increases the attack and the speed of the troops quite a bit. On the other hand the life gem combination works the best with the troops that have got a little bit less HP, especially the Lalo and Hog Rider combinations. This combination will really shine there. Finally, we have got the Fireball and Eternal Dome. This is a very specific combination and this is mainly used to do Fireball in one compartment and let the blimp reach its destination and take out either the Town Hall or a different compartment. So now the Warden is also done. Now let's wrap up and do the summary. Alright, we have got a lot of combinations for the king, but this one, spiky ball and earthquake boots will go first. Secondly, the queen will go with this. Both are common equipment, but this one rocks in every strategy. Thirdly, the RC, we're gonna send her with both common equipments. Finally, the warden as well with both the books. Now across the board, you can see most of them are common equipment. It's only the king's spiky ball that has made it to the list with epic status. But other than that, all of them are common, but for the current meta and how the game stands, these combinations are the best. Now I'll be linking a video right here, you will be interested in that. And before we end this one, we have got a few friend requests to accept today. Today we have got Gabriel C Sumant Fake CB Gamer Me Y2 and Shield Thank you for sending me the friend request guys, I appreciate all of you. Well then, I'll be seeing you in the next video, subscribe and take care, bye.